everybody. New Suit Fitness back again. We're in Alaska right now. I'm on my very first hike. Uh, decided to take a break and have a cool little backdrop. This is literal ice, so it's pretty cool. Um, just wanted to do a rule to Taylor by today. Uh, we're going to talk about being your own competition. And again, it's a very important rule. All rules are. Um, but this one is mainly about finding a positive way to get yourself either into a gym or into the lifestyle that you actually want, right? So a lot of people are driven by jealousy, uh, by bad motives that are unhealthy, right? Um, a lot of people are gifted and those gifted people will succeed and then the people who watch them find you know, jealousy or resentment towards them and maybe that pushes them to do something negative towards their own self. Um, what I want to talk about is just finding the right motive, the right drive to getting you to where you want to go in a healthy manner. And that's what be, being your own competition is about. Um, you know, for me, it's fighting the antagonist within, which I've talked about before. So you're your only competition. You're the one who can tell you not to do something. You're the one who slows yourself down. You're the one who holds yourself back. When you wake up in the morning and you're tired, you're the one saying you're tired. You're the one saying you don't want to go to the gym. You want to sleep in. You want to eat that unhealthy breakfast because it tastes good. It's you doing it to yourself. Uh, and I've said this again before too. The world's not against you. So you're your own the competition. You want to be the person that drives you every day to get to the gym. You don't want to use a different motive that you have no control over. You don't have control over the fact that this person who was born with superior genetics just happens to be able to burn metabolism at a five times faster rate than you, doesn't have to work as hard as you, doesn't mean they don't work hard, but they just, it's a gift and you can't, you know, resent them for that. You can't resent yourself for not having that either. So the main focus is to just wake up every morning, understand that you are the only person that controls what you do. You, when you go to the gym, you know your limits, you know where you need to hold back, you know you, where you need to regress and then eventually start to, to uh, progress. So, I mean, it's time to realize that you might not be the most gifted person, but you're still you. You're still the person that has to overcome your own goals. No one's gonna do it for you. And so when you realize and you take a step back, and I mean, I have to do this every day too. You know, I'm not, again, I'm, I'm never saying that I'm someone who's figured it all out. These are just lessons that I've learned through my journey and I still have to apply them day in and day out if I actually want to succeed. So I have to remind myself that I'm my own worst enemy. I'm the one who holds myself back. When I'm afraid to take a leap of faith when it comes to you know going to a job interview or talking to a girl or doing whatever, it's me holding myself back. It's my antagonist saying that I can't do it. It's my antagonist telling me that I'm not good enough. And so you want to just realize that that person is the only thing holding you back, it's you. And when you realize that, I think things come a lot easier um, and it comes in a lot healthier fashion. You don't want to, again, resent somebody else for being better or being stronger or whatever it may be, because you can get there too, it's just gonna take a little bit more effort and that's okay. Part of that effort is what drives you to become the better person. You're learning those lessons through those trials, overcoming those situations, that's what gives you grit, that's what gives you color, and it's what makes you you. So I just want to stress, be your own competition. Don't rely on somebody else. Don't put your burdens onto somebody else. Try to just take it on yourself. I mean, obviously you need help in some things. I'm not telling you to take on life on, on your own. Um, you need to have good support. I mean, I have tons of friends who I'm with right now, and you know, normally I'd be embarrassed to talk about this kind of stuff. They're, I mean, they're literally right here. And normally I'd be embarrassed, but I know they support me and that's a good thing to have. So you need to find people you can rely on. But when it comes to your drive, when it comes to reaching your goals, you have to just do it for yourself. I've spent so much of my life trying to do things for other people, trying to impress other people. And I just talked about this the other day for an interview. So, you know, what's one thing I would tell a younger for myself? Stop doing things for other people. Do them for yourself. You are your own competition. You're your worst enemy. The antagonist within, that's the one you gotta face. So I wish I would've told myself when I was 16, focus on yourself. When you look in the mirror, that's who you have to battle. 
that's who you want to impress. So that's it for today. Um, I'm looking at an amazing view. I'm with some really good friends. I'm going to be in Alaska for the rest of the week, so I'm pretty excited about that. And I'm going to fly the drone around, get some pretty cool shots to show you guys. So hope you'll see them sporadically throughout. But just remember to be your own competition, and you know, keep trying and working at it every day. And then hopefully sooner rather than later you'll get where you want to go so see you later new suit fitness boy